Hey guys, I have an art supply to share with you. These are blending brushes by Picket Fence Studio and they actually say right here on the package that they're life changing. Hmm, okay, so let's see if that's true. All right, let's open them up. Okay, this is an interesting package. Oh, I can't get this open. I'm going to need scissors. Okay. Alrighty. So I believe these are based off of those makeup brushes that everybody's been using. You guys have seen those. Okay, these are um, some of the larger sizes. They do sell them in sets of, of really tiny ones. And, uh, but I didn't get those. I just got the, the bigger ones because I want to test these out before I buy any more and I want to see if they're any good. Okay, so what I normally blend with, now let me tell you what I'm talking about first. I'm talking about blending with inks and using stencils because really that's what I bought this for and I believe that's what it's intended for uh, because the, the company that makes this does stamps and stencils. So what I normally would use to blend with and I know you guys out there use these too. Uh, these are by Ranger. These are removable so you can have lots of different colors. Um, you know use lots of Gosh, what am I saying? You can change these easily when you change colors of ink. There are, they are washable. You just run this underneath water and you can just use it over and over and over again. These really do last like so long. Okay, and then I have these. These are a little bit larger. And then I have my little carrying case here. They came out with, uh, Ranger came out with these, oh gosh, not too long ago, maybe about a year ago. And these are great. Uh, for blending the inks and I actually like it better than these sponges but this is very stiff and these are extremely soft so I'm really interested in seeing how these compare to each other. Also what, Rain what Ranger makes that is really interesting are these little tiny. This is basically this just super small and it's double ended so you have the little sponge on either end which I really like and then of course I have my Fantastics but this is different this is this is not what this is you know this is not for blending ink it's just in the same uh, container and I can do another video on that some other time maybe I have already I'm not sure anyway I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get to let's get to business all right so I'm going to use my, what is this called, the Station, Make Art Station by Wendy uh, Vecchi. This is by Ranger and this is really cool. This is magnetic and these have nice big magnets. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to put down a piece of paper here. Okay, I'm going to hold it in place and then I'm going to get a stencil. It's Halloween, so I thought we could try the um, this one out. Okay, let's put all of my magnets on there to hold it really securely. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, I'm going to compare, let's compare, oh, let's do three. Okay. So I'm going to compare these three together and see which one looks best. Let's go with, let's go with black. Okay, now the reason I'm going to be using this ink, you can use water-soluble ink or, or permanent ink. It doesn't matter. Uh, when you use water-soluble ink, you're going to be able to clean your brushes better. If you're going to use permanent ink, um, you're going to have to use like, oh gosh, where is it? It's a, it's a, um, let me see. Here it is. Well, I use this for stamp cleaning um, and then this probably will, I'm saying probably because I haven't tried it yet, but it will probably remove the permanent ink off of here since this removes permanent ink off of your stamps. I'm going to have to test that out. 
I'm going to leave this right here. Maybe I'll do that in a second. Okay, so today, though, I'm going to, to use the water-soluble ink. Okay, what color should we do? Gosh, let's do blue. Let's do blue today. All right, first, we're going to use what every all of us first started blending inks with is this little uh, sponge thing. So we'll load up our load up our uh, little sponge and we're going to swirl it. Now the thing about this one is you really have to work at it to get into the edges because it's really hard to do that with a sponge. Okay, now we're going to try this little stiffer brush, also by Ranger. I'm going to load it up with some ink. Now this is actually a little bit easier to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Okay, now, hmm, let's try this, you know, I'm going to try the smaller brush. Okay, so this comes in lots of sizes, but I think this is a good size to try to blend right here. So let's load it up. I've never, ever tried this before. This is the first time I'm ever using it, so, gosh, let's see. Looks like it has a really soft effect, and gosh, it 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 uh, really is going to the edges very nicely. Okay, so let's take these off and lift up my. Okay, wow, look at that. Okay, so the sponge, you can definitely see that you don't have crisp edges and it's not as evenly distributed. This is much softer. It's, you know what, I, I probably had some ink left on here. That's why the colors are a little bit different than here or here. Um, it's a little bit softer. It, this is actually better than this, but oh my goodness, I was not expecting such a dramatic difference. Look how crisp these edges are. This is amazing. And the the overall, it's much more evenly distributed. It's very, um, I don't have a lot of, of um, spots where it's darker or lighter. It's, I could have blended more and, and had it even better than this, but wow, am I impressed. Okay, so look just from here to here. This is, this is much more not, um, this one right here is just not as de defined as this one. This is so crisp and clean, and this is the definite winner. So I guess it really is life-changing. Oh my goodness. Now, if you're going to be doing large areas with this, or what I think is best, what this is best for, is if you're going to go along like an edge, um, you, you guys out there know what I'm talking about. When you, when you just want to edge, mark up the edge of something uh, with ink, this is probably your best tool to do that with. You're really not going to be able to do that, uh, the edge, really well with this, with these bristles or these. This, since you have this flat area, what, what you can also do, and you know we all do it, you just take the ink pad and do this. Well, actually, this is better. Than, than just going straight in with the ink pad. Use the flat surface here and, and ink up the edges. That is probably what I would recommend this is best used for. This one and this one, um, they're both good for the stencils, but this is far superior. Guys, I was not expecting such a dramatic result. This is really amazing. I am so super impressed. Let's do more. Okay, okay, 
Now let's try, hmm, let's do this face. I'm gonna see how, now I always save these, uh, these little sleeves. I do not throw these away because they keep my um, stencils from catching on each other in the drawer. So I, yeah, I recommend you guys do that too. I love my station. It really holds your stencils to your paper. It doesn't move. It's fabulous. Okay, so let's take this again and let's go into, I'm going to use a different one. And I'll clean my brushes later. Let's do, let's do her, hmm, let's do a red. Let's do a fabric red. Okay. So this is kind of a fine detail stencil here where you really want crisp edges. Now I guess I could have used black but this this lady's just gonna be red. This is really easy to work with. I don't know why I'm holding that down. I'm holding it down like as if I have to hold it down but the magnets are really doing the work. Guys, this is actually really fun to do. I like this thing. I think I'm gonna have to get all the sizes. Okay, let's see how she turned out. <gasps> wow, oh my goodness, look how crisp those edges are. <sighs> see a little dust on there. She's beautiful, oh my goodness. Guys, okay, if you like to work with stencils, Oh my goodness, this is like, this, this, okay, now when I saw this, when it said life-changing on the packaging, I kind of rolled my eyes, because really, but it's true. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I gotta do another one. Okay, I have to do another one. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I am gonna have so much fun with this. Okay, let me do one more, because I can't help myself. Okay, let me set this up. Okay guys, I'm gonna do one more. I'm going to do this one that has all of these circles. I'm gonna see how well this does. Okay, and I will leave a link below to this uh, Make Art Station right here because it's just fabulous if you're working with stencils. It really holds everything into place. Okay, let's go with the Walnut Stain. No, yes. No, let's go with green. I don't think I've used this yet. All right, and I'm going to use the really large one for this um, area right here. Okay, I got all my ink filled. I love this green color. I think this is called uh, peeled paint. Now I'm gonna work it around and kind of go softer the farther I go out. Okay, and let's see how it looks. Okay. I feel like I have so much ink in the middle, but but let's just see how it looks. I kind of oversaturated it right now. But okay, let's have the reveal. <gasps> Ooh, I really like that. Oh my goodness, so I don't think there's too much ink in the middle. I kind of like how it's darker in the middle and really fades out. That is so cool. Look how crisp and clean all the edges are of these circles. Okay guys, I give this a big thumbs up. They're called the Picket Fence Studio Life Changing Blender Brushes. So I think these are fabulous. I had so much fun trying these new brushes out. I'm gonna go and buy the smaller ones too because I think they're that fabulous. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and 
I will see you later. Bye!